I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time, which will be September, for the month of September 2020. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Aries, in the recent past, we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Four of Pentacles, it's, it's showing holding on too tight to things, people, maybe money, or some situation longer than was healthy or realistic. Because when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles. It also points to anxiety and fear. Because if you could see the picture of the Four of Pentacles, it's the card above the word pass. This man, he's on all fours and he's clinging really tight to his pinnacles. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance. So he's clinging and holding on really tight. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. So it's anxiety and fear about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So this is a sign to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now it's with this Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, it's showing a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing and this should help reach towards any goals. The Knights are often about messages. Now the messages, they're positive, usually, um, and things are more successful than you have, than you would have expected in the recent past. Now this Knight of Wands is an interesting energy in the tarot. It's about being fearless, brave, this type of person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very confident. Um, this Knight of Wands is also known as a player, really charming. They got this in and out type of energy, though. So they usually don't stick around for long. In and out player. So it looks like uh, Aries, I'm picking up a lot of you are clinging on really tight to someone that they, someone was a player and you, you just tried to hold on to this person or you tried to change them. Yeah, because the, there's this unhealthy energy here of you just trying to hold on to something really tight um yeah and it's about not giving enough space um yeah or trying to control someone or situation so i'm picking up for a lot of you aries you tried to change this person um, you might you might have had a lot of mojo for this person, but they were the in and out type player. You're dealing with the player, and uh, as fast as this person reached out to you and came towards you, just as fast as they were out, they were gone, in and out. So they came and they left. They came and they left. You're dealing with the player, and um, you, you tried to change this person. Okay, so that's a recent pass. Now let's move on over and let's see what we got coming up for September. King of Swords and the Sun card. Now the King of Swords, it stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful type of person. He will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could also be tempted to think about how, about how things only affect you personally when you get this card if it's not representing an actual person in your life. So you need to consider the feelings of others before you act. This King of Swords is a very, very forceful type of energy. So you may not be able to get someone to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may have to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. Very forceful energy, this King of Swords. This type of person is... Um, stereotypically manly they will overstep their bounds and this person will mistreat you now it's with the sun card 
So the sun card, things are going really well. Your finances are in great shape. Um, great time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. If you're looking for a new job, it's right around the corner. So, Aries, it looks like uh, coming up in September, you could be dealing with someone who's like this King of Swords. Uh, like I said, this person will mistreat you. They overstep their bounds. They're very forceful. King of Swords is known as the Narcissist in the Tarot. Now, it's with the Sun card, so... Aries, you make this narcissist really happy. You add a lot of sunshine and happy days to their life. And you probably don't even know it by the way they treat you. This could be the person you're dealing with. This could be that same Knight of Wands from the recent past. Because when you hear the word recent past, that could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, or more. Could be the same person that's in and out. Um, you could still be dealing with them because it looks like you're clinging on really tight. So you probably didn't let them go yet. This narcissist could, could be someone new entering your life, person you're dealing with, or or someone else. Maybe it's a friend or a family member. Very forceful type. Like I said, this person will mistreat you. So you have no idea that you add sunshine to their life. And you make this person really happy. You wouldn't know it. Because they're, they're all about being forceful and probably, probably really neg negative and arrogant. You know what a narcissist is. Yeah, so you make this person happy, but they're more into probably making you feel devalued. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let you know that you add sunshine to their lives and you make them happy. They wouldn't let, they, this, this type of person would not let you know that. And if they did, they'd turn it around. The next day, they'll let you know that you're not all that. You're not all that important. <laughs> so, that's what we got coming up for the present time. You're dealing with some type of forceful energy. Yeah. Like I said, if it's not a love interest, it could be a, a co-worker or a friend or a family member. So let's find out what the challenge is. We got the Page of Pentacles and the World card. Page of Pentacles is a card about boredom. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up just for a little excitement. It's about rethinking the impulse, finding a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. We all know that. Now, the Page of Pentacles, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. It's with the world card. The world card is about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so just don't quit now because you're really close. You're um, probably in need of some rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, in terms of work, it's a good chance that you're working really hard or far too hard for far too little recognition and money. So if this is the case, go right ahead and toot your own horn a little. Just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Because Aries, I know you have them. So with these two cards paired together for your challenge, it's saying that this page of pinnacles. Now let me just key you in on this word page. When you hear that word in the tarot, that's youth, a student, maybe someone in, really immature. Uh, someone younger than you. So it looks like you could be bored with this King of Swords here. Uh, you're, yeah, you're kind of fed up. You're tired of dealing with them. And you find them to be really immature. And it looks like because a world card is here, you're ready to complete the cycle in the journey with this person. You're ready to close the chapter. You're no longer 
fascinated or into this person anymore. So it looks like you're you're going to end a journey or you're thinking about closing the chapter. That's what the world card is about, completion. Because this person is, you find them too immature. So let's see what the outcome is. Outcome, we got the Six of Cups and the Lover's card. Now the Six of Cups, it's a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. So if we start to think about, um, if we spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, uh, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you might start to think that the best of all the years have gone by. Yeah. Now, if you're in a relationship already and you get the Six of Cups, it's indicating that a relationship may need to be refocused toward the future. Talk about goals, and new things, try new things. Try not to stay stuck in the past. Okay, now on occasions, the Six of Cups, it can signify the reappearance, the reappearance, the reappearance of an old lover. So someone from the past could be returning. Now it's with the Lover's card, okay? This card is beautiful. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. Now it's possible that you could start to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or situation in your life. It could be that your heart is going to tell you one thing and your head is going to tell you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people will say, you probably heard before, that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. Now when you get the lover's card, it's showing it's, it's safe to choose love. It's a time when um, love could be brought to you to the center stage of your life in big, bold, capital letters. So this could be a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Yes. So, Aries, the outcome, Six of Cups in the Lover's card. So you c could be, someone from your past could be returning. Yeah, somebody that you got a lot of happy memories with and familiarity is there. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate because you got the lover's card. So you you could be falling in love with someone from the past. Or if it's someone that, you, that you're thinking about from the past, they could be coming back and it's going to be a coming together, a really great union. It, it'll be a deep love, a partnership, the strength of two. Yeah, now this is another, I'm going to tell you about another storyline I'm getting here for the Six of Cups and Lovers. You could also be thinking about how things used to be with this person you were dealing with, this King of Swords or... Maybe, yeah, or someone you someone from the past. But I'm thinking the other storyline is that you're thinking about how great things used to be with the person that you're closing the book on. You're completing a cycle with. You're just kind of stuck in thought and memory how things used to be really great. And, um, yeah, you're wishing or... Thinking about how it was a great love at one time. Yeah, you close the chapter. You're closing the chapter. Because you find this person really immature. That's your challenge. And now you're kind of like stuck in your, your uh, memories. You're remembering the happy times with this narcissist. And how things w were really great. Yeah, so you might just be very nostalgic. Or, for a lot of you Aries, you got someone from the past returning. And it's going to be a, a falling in love, 
all over again in the strength of two. And I know what a lot of you Aries are saying. Oh, please, that's a bunch of crap. No kind of great love ever happens to me like that. Okay, I'll buy that. So this lover's card is beautiful. If it's not a powerful love or a coming together, a twin mate or a twin flame or a soulmate, then you got some really, really great opportunity coming your way. Yeah, but don't blow it because you could be stuck on thinking about how things were in the recent past, how great they were. You could be stuck on nostal being nostalgic and just stuck on happy memories of the past. So that's what I got for you, Aries. I want to say I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season that we're having. Just know that it will pass, so hang in there. Take care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading and have a great day.